Hi everybody, Cyberiv here. I just want to speak on um, the real reason why Donald Trump took the Bible and lifted up the Bible. And I'm not going to discuss this or speak about this in the way that you probably think I am going to do. If you take a look at the actual photo of Donald Trump doing the exact same thing as Adolf Hitler. And also, if you use Google and the search engines and research what does Donald Trump read? Has he ever read a book on Hitler? In fact, it is reported that Donald Trump actually keeps a book of Hitler at his bedside many points in his life. And that's public information. So when you look at the photo, do you think that photo is by accident? Do you think that Trump is actually doing something by accident that Adolf Hitler has done? I'm going to be digging into some really deep stuff, really deep things, because I think the time has come where we're going to discuss this Jesus. And we're going to discuss who Jesus really is and we're going to discuss what the Bible is really all about. And I'm trying to do it in one video. So this video may be long because it's come to the point now where... Let me begin by talking about why Trump would lift up that Bible. Why would he do that? And it's not just about him copying Adolf Hitler. Because Trump copies everybody. Trump even copies Obama. If you watch him how he does his speech and he is reading off the, the screen, you've never seen Trump really just speak out of his brain. He's either reading from, from a piece of paper or he's reading from, you know, the projected screens around him, teleprompters or prompters, whatever they call it. But he never speaks of his brain. And if he does, he's going to be talking a whole bunch of crap. We're going to go somewhere with this, okay? Because it's time for people, and I'm talking people of every culture and every race. I don't care what country you come from. I am going to speak to you and let you know the truth of why Donald Trump raised that Bible. And I'm going to get straight into it. The reason why Donald Trump lift, raised that Bible was not just because he's copying Hitler and thinking like Hitler and about to actually do exactly what Hitler has done. Guarantee you, watch. Donald Trump wants a civil war because Donald Trump knows it's either jail at some point or civil war and he's going to choose civil war because he can divide and split america as an option and then have a place of of um safety and cover if he does that because if he doesn't do that he's heading at a democratic win in november donald trump is going to jail at some point like the rest of his other cronies okay and criminals and it's funny when white collar criminals commit a crime, they can get out of jail early because of COVID. But yet people have been in jail for like 10, 20 years for far lesser crimes than that. And this is why I'm making this video among the other videos that I've made. Because Donald Trump is doing something. When he raises that Bible, he is also saying this Bible is a symbol of white supremacy and white power. I'm telling you, call T.D. Jakes, call Creflo Dollar, call Alf Laku and tell them to contact me, CyberRev, and discuss this. If you think I'm talking crazy, get them live with me. Live. They could do live on Twitter. They can do live on YouTube. Let them do live. When he raises that Bible, he is saying this book was written by my white ancestors and fathers about it if, if 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 crusaders and discoverers or whatever they want to call them and they call them these wonderful names yet look at the crime they have gone into america they have have massacred red indians of every tribe and i'm going to be putting up the actual map of the whole of america how america was so a lot of people are actually walking around absolutely upside down including T.D. Jakes, including Creflo Dalla, including Alf Lakou of South Africa, upside down. Because when you stand there and, and watch 
Donald Trump raised that Bible, Donald Trump is telling you what this Bible means. And white America is telling you who support Donald Trump, who got Donald Trump into power, is telling you that this Bible is written to defend and protect white people, period. And they're saying every character in the Bible is white. That's why they're, it's white for a reason. When really no one's white anyway. No one's white because they're all pink. But Donald Trump knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing and why he's doing it. And it's time for people to understand this and wake up. They have to understand what's going on here. Because if, you're st if he's producing actions and acts and thinking clearly along the line of Hitler and fascism and white supremacy, Donald Trump is about to do what the five times to ten times more than what happened in the Martin Luther King's time. Straight up. And guess what? T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Alf Cool, all these people just preaching Christian and Christianity. When Christian and Christianity was created by who? Constantine, a pagan. So they don't know the history. They haven't put this jigsaw puzzle together to understand that the very Bible that you're reading, who gave that Bible to you? Slavery and enslavement gave you that Bible. Written not by the African kings who were the first dynasties of this world. The oldest human DNA. I keep mentioning this for a reason. The oldest human DNA on planet Earth is African. The Nile River and the Red Sea and Mount Sinai is Africa when you look at the maps of old. I've said it before. Where can you grow exotic fruits and plants and fishes and have exotic animals? You can't grow that in cold countries. People need to wake up and understand that Donald Trump is telling you like they've all been telling you. When it comes to Jesus, white Jesus, who's a myth and a fable and a legend just like Batman and, and Robin, you know, all these other Christopher Columbus discovered the Caribbean. How can, you, how can you discover anything when people are older than you? Can I go to China and say I've discovered China because I've been there the first time? Yet Chinese are waiting for me? People's got to wake up. They've got to wake up. They've got to wake up and understand this is very, very, very important for a number of reasons. And the light is shining clearly on the truth. And the truth is not Donald Trump. And the truth is not the Bible that Donald Trump and raised up. And Donald Trump is actually raising that Bible as white power. If you understand the Masons and the Masonries and the Jesuits, and even the Jews who are Khazar Jews. And they don't want you to talk about the Khazar Jews. They don't want you to talk about the Jews, right? And the Jews will tell you that the tomb of Jesus is in Israel, right? Have you looked at the tomb? It's as big as your bath. Yet you've got pyramids, momentous, huge monuments of Africa with real kings and queens. That's why they, archaeologists are still discovering in Africa. The facts are there. It's just that you're not embracing, you're not embracing the truth of the Bible. The Garden of Eden is Africa. You're not embracing the oldest human DNA. You're not embracing the real church, which is an universe. Why would you want to go to a building when the universe is right there? Church is right inside of you, right? Luke 17, 21. Luke 17, 21. The kingdom of the creator is within. And I know it says God. But then you have to ask yourself and do your research and, and find out when they say God, where did they get that word from? When they say God, are they talking about El God? Now I want you to go and research the El God online. Look at El God. That's why you have Yisrael, L, E-L at the end. Go look at the El God because that's what they're about. And the Ra is right in the middle, R-A. That's the Africa side because they, they're not smart enough to actually rewrite truth. They're not smart enough. That's why they couldn't read the, the hieroglyphs. They couldn't read all these things of Africa. They can't even understand it to this day. So they make things up. That's why they told you in that same Bible that Donald Trump raised up, they said, we killed Pharaoh. 
White people lifted up and said, we kill Pharaoh. Our El God killed Pharaoh. What color was Pharaoh? You get it? You understand it? Are you open to listening? Or are you closed because you're enslaved? Or you're closed in your spirit and mind because you're racist? You see, people ain't got the, the, the courage and the boldness and the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding to really speak like I'm speaking. You have to spend at least 25 to 30 years to talk the way I'm talking. And understand it to the point it doesn't matter if T.D. Jakes wants to do a live. Do a live. In fact, I dare you to. I don't have anything against you. But when you start to preach the Jesus and the white Jesus. And you're telling me that the white Jesus is actually more accurate than of 33 years. 33 years of myth. And you want to ignore 100,000 years of Africa history? Or 5 billion years of the universe? <laughs> Come on now. You want to ignore the planets that operate the universe? And say there's no spirit? There's no connection to that? So the planets of Mars and Jupiter. When's the last time you, you did a sermon, T.D. Jakes, on, on Mars and Pluto and Saturn? The planets that operate everything. The electromagnet systems of the pyramids. When's the last time you preached about that? Wake up. Because the reason why I'm actually saying this has nothing really to do with any religious institution or denomination. Because I'm not about you following me. That's why I set it up for no one to worry about what you look like or where your church is at. My church is the universe, and even T.D. Jakes can't touch that. Creflo Dollar doesn't even know where it is. But you talk about heaven. Then if you talk about Ra, and I'm on Ra, you're going to say, well, I don't believe in that. Because you see, they taught you that's witchcraft. Isn't that strange? Google it. They're, they're telling you that everything to do with Africa is is. And Pharaoh is bad and evil. And that's why we created this story that the sea opened up. The sea opened up. When's the last time you see a sea open up? But you're going to believe it, right? You're going to believe the sea opened up and killed everybody in Africa, all of Pharaoh's people. Yet, yet you've got Jacob and Leah and Rachel. And Rachel and Jacob headed out the 12 tribes of, of Israel, right? White Israel. Not black Israel. Africa, Israel. White Israel. Right? Racist apartheid Israel. Yet Jacob, did he have children for two sisters? Have you read the Bible? Two sisters. And his, the two sisters was his first cousins. That's Jacob. And he had more handmaids on top of that. Yet he set up the 12 tribes of Israel, right? But you don't see nothing with that, no? T.D. Jakes, you don't see nothing with that? So I can do what Jacob did? I can go out and have two sisters as my first cousins and breed them up? Have children for me? Is that okay? If I do the same thing as Jacob and all the whole of your church do the same thing as Jacob? What about Abraham? And in the middle of Abraham, you've got Ra. When you say pray, you've got Ra. When you say praise, you've got Ra. When you say Amen, it's Amon. So the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is not there with these religious people. And the Creator is not about religion and is not about denomination. He's not about that. He's about you understanding he is the new universe of the planets, sun, moon, stars, and everything. All seasons. That's why he's in control of all of that. He's not interested in you going and set up your little religions and denominations all over the place, okay? He's not interested in that. He's interested in you understanding he has his kingdom, and his, he has kingdoms with gods and goddesses, and he has kingdom... With kings and queens. And there's kingdoms in every person who understands that. That's why you're the king of the king. Got to wake up. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Wake up for every single person. Worldwide. Regardless of what country you're in. Regardless of what language you speak. But understand the new universe is in control. Not religions and denominations. Not politics. Not man-made Governments and everything to do with that Bible that Donald Trump raised up is man made, man made, man written. That's why they've created this. That's why they tell you you're black, they're white. How are they white? 
Have they seen a white piece of paper next to their face yet? Have you put a black piece of paper next to your face lately? Wake up and understand that ye are the temple and the temple is within. And that's why the universe deals with spirit to spirit. You don't need to go to a wooden building or a brick building or belong to this denomination or this religion. You just need to know how the universe operates with energy, with energy. How the creator gave you your own brain, gave you your thoughts and he understands your thoughts and your brain. That's why he corrects you when he's ready. That's why he guides you if you're listening. He doesn't just guide these rich pastors to do whatever they want to do. And yet, how can you have so much of all the blessings and most of your congregation, even if it's 20,000 people, are broke? Most of them. Most of them. It's time to wake up. If you're on YouTube, what are your comments on social media platforms? Do you think Donald Trump has lifted that Bible because Donald Trump loves everyone? Donald Trump understands what's written in that Bible? Or is Donald Trump just looking at white Jesus, white power, white racism, white rule? That's why he says, we Americans. When he says, we Americans, do you think he's talking about black people and brown people and Latina people and Mexican people? No. That's why if you look at the immigration policies, he tells you exactly what he thinks of you, right? Cyber F.